line because it's the light coming up through it. Makes sense. Yeah. Sometimes in life, you have to look a little closer. Get much closer. To understand what you're really seeing. In the beginning of the year, I, I like had him. I didn't have him that much because he was absent a lot. Sergio never misses eighth grade science with Miss Wellman. Which means bigger world. But it wasn't always this way. In the past year, absenteeism for kids like Sergio became such a glaring problem, Palm Beach County School District leaders say they needed a new way to tackle it. So they began issuing truancy petitions to parents. Truancy means a student has missed 15 days of school within a 90-day period. That's our goal with truancy court. The petition requires parents to appear in court to explain their child's excessive absences and find solutions. Yeah, that doesn't look too good, so can you help me out with what's going on for you? Palm Beach County Juvenile Court Judge Kathleen Kroll listens to every story with empathy, respect. Yay! Good job! And a genuine desire to help. There are lots of roadblocks in our community that some are parent or child related, but some aren't. They're the situation people are in. And learning about all those things and how we might as a community come together to improve the benefit for our kids in school and getting educated. The exact number of truant students changes day to day because it's based on a rolling 90 day calendar. However, school district leaders tell me so far this school year, more than 25,000 students have missed more than 15 days of school. And since May 2023, they filed at least 20 truancy petitions, bringing parents here to court for the most serious situations. It's really when it gets to that point where the school level, we've exhausted at the district level, we've exhausted all interventions and their kids are still not coming to school, then we've got to really take this step. Palm Beach County Schools yeah. Chief of Equity and Wellness, Keith Oswald, yeah. says this process is revealing the core issues keeping a child from coming to school. We've seen homelessness, we've seen issues with employment, we've seen issues with food insecurity. Um, you name it, it's really kind of coming out. Ever since their dad passed away till today's date, till now, everything's been on my back and it's been rough and hard. Sergio's mom, Barbara, says the family has faced several challenges these past few years, housing being one of them. Has that been kind of the biggest struggle for you all? Yes, the biggest, biggest struggle till today's date, yes. Is having a place to live? Yes. But that's the silver lining of Truancy Court, bringing community organizations together in one place to give families the support they need. We're gonna find out how I can get you assistance some money, some food stamps. By bringing all these providers here in the courtroom, we're able to address those issues, really help the family get back on their feet and get these kids back in school, which is what we really want here in Palm Beach County. Why is it important? He's doing aftercare, he's doing recycling, and he has been really improving his grades and improving his attendance. So I believe that this family is going in the right direction because of um, you know, the process that they have to go through. School truancy liaison Myra Henry says she sees the difference in Sergio's motivation, knowing he now has the support to lift him up. I know I can count on her. In the teachers who see his potential. Maybe people haven't told him in the past that he's able to, but I know from deep down in my heart, from the first moment I ever met him, that he is more than capable. Take this knob and turn it until you, it becomes clear. Bringing his future a little more into focus.